right, so here's one of the biggest Republican lies ever told. They're trying to push this abortion issue. It's only against late-term abortion. The Democrats did it to themselves because they are allowing an abortion up to and until and after the baby's born, which is insane. Uh, an abortion after the baby's born? Yeah, that's what the Democrats did, and that's why they, they revisited Roe v. Wade. But, no, but what I mean is, uh, when I'm asking, the, like, how do you abort after the baby's been born? It's called murder. So they're pro-murder after postpartum murder? Well, that's what caused all this. I see. Oh, my God. All right. This is a complete crazy lie, and we all know that this has been going on for a while. And uh, just a reminder of who's pushing it. Here it is. I know that they have supported abortion up to the last minute before and after birth. They are for abortion right up until birth and after. If a baby should survive an abortion, they are for allowing that baby to die in a cold metal tray and not even uh, giving the baby medical care. Kamala Harris supports abortion to the very last second before a fully developed child in the mother's womb is born. That's late-term abortion. The baby can definitely feel the pain. The definitely the baby who, uh, if it survives one more where minute, are there will be born, but instead out. will lose its life. Where where are there these abortions being carried out the, up, up until the moment of birth? I keep hearing Republican politicians talking about that. And I mean, that's infanticide. I, I, I don't know where this is going on. So they're saying abortion up until and even after the birth. So which one is it? Up until or after? They're pushing this lie. And they're pushing it hard. And here's someone else who's pushing this lie. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The concept of having an abortion in the later months and even execution after birth. And then if it's after the ninth month and the baby is born, you put the baby aside, you discuss with the mother. And if the mother doesn't want the baby, we execute the baby. This is part of their, their thing. Now think of it. I will continue to stand strong against the extreme late-term abortionists in the Democrat Party who believe in abortion on demand in the ninth month of pregnancy and even executing babies after birth. They actually talk beyond birth, after birth, executing the baby. This is where we've come. And it's so sad to see. So Republicans tell these lies mainly to gain manufactured consent for things like this. At the Supreme Court today, an historic upheaval in a sweeping ruling that overturned a half a century of precedents, five justices ended the right of American women to choose abortion under the Constitution. The court upheld Mississippi's ban on abortions after 15 weeks by a 6-3 to three vote, and five of those justices went even farther, voting to overturn Roe versus Wade itself. So there you have it. The lie that Democrats want to abort babies up until and after the birth worked, and it helped overturn Roe versus Wade, as we saw, and here we are. So these lies are, first of all, let's go to the lie. The idea is that they're saying that Democrats support killing babies after they're born. That's called murder, as that first lady said, and that's just not a thing. Now, if there's any sort of late-term abortion, that would only occur if the child has some sort of a extreme um, health issue or, or, the, or it might cause health problems to the mother. And that's usually um, a decision that's made between a doctor and the parents that are going through this. So for example, let's say the doctor says, oh wow, there's complications with this baby and it might cause you uh, to die, mom. Um, we need to have an, a late-term abortion. Those are things that again, might happen. Very rarely do they happen. But uh, for the most part, um, that's not something that's a, 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 a legislation that's supported by people who are like, oh, let's just kill babies. Who wants to kill babies? Nobody wants to kill babies. People that want babies want babies. And if you're pregnant, you usually want that baby. And if you're gonna have an abortion, usually it's earlier on when you're going, oh wow, I'm very young and I didn't want this baby and it happened and I'm gonna get an abortion. That's usually when it happens, earlier on. So most people that are having babies want the baby. So let's just get that out of the way. Democrat, Republican doesn't make a difference. But what happened was, 
They overturned Roe versus Wade, and then they go, oops, a majority of, of this country doesn't want that. So politically, it hurt them. We saw the results in the midterm elections in 2022 that all of a sudden, the Republicans, when they were supposed to do better, they did much worse. And now they're trying to really um, um, lean into this whole thing of Democrats want to kill your babies after they're born just so that they fear monger and they get more of their supporters going, well, then I'm going to vote for you know people that don't want to kill babies. That makes sense. I want to vote for people that don't want to kill babies. But that's not the case. It's just not the case that anyone wants to kill babies up until and after birth. That's just not a thing. But the lie continues. They continue to say that lie. Anybody with any kind of logical ability would realize, wow, that's really not what's going on. Um, there's uh, an issue where once in a while, if there's a medical problem towards the end of the birth, you may have to abort. Maybe the child has a medical problem. Maybe this child that's in your stomach is going to come out and have a hole in their heart. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But these are things that can happen. And the doctor says, listen, we need to, we need to abort this baby because it's going to be uh, 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 health issues for the baby and health issues for the mother. So let's just keep that in mind, put it aside. They continuously, continuously preach lies to cause fear to then gain. And it's a lot of it, it's cultural. It's a lot of, a lot of it's like this thing at the border where they say they're coming to get you. Immigrants are coming to get you. Immigrants commit fewer crimes per capita than citizens, than American citizens. It just doesn't happen. Most immigrants that are coming to America are coming here for a better life. I'm an immigrant. My family came here for a better life. We come here to try to contribute to America. Most immigrants that are coming here are here to take jobs that some Americans wouldn't want to take. Who's picking your fruits? Who is um, you know, uh, uh, cleaning your homes? These are immigrants that are coming here and doing these jobs. And they're, most of them are coming to do good. Good. The biggest threat to Americans are Americans. The people that are going around uh, doing mass shootings are American citizens. The guy who tried to shoot Donald Trump was an American citizen, was some white guy. He wasn't some immigrant. So they fear monger so that their constituents feel that someone's coming after them and they get gaslit and then they get screwed because what happens is these people who are backing these types of movements, this whole um, anti-abortion uh, movement, the whole anti-immigrant movement, all of these movements, the people that are backing them tend to be wealthier people, tend to be conservative, right-wing religious types who want their agendas in America. They want America to become the Christian Republic of America. They want you to live under their rules, which are, you know, anti-immigrant, anti-LGBTQ. That's the other one. Oh, wow. The gays are coming after you. Gays are coming after you. What gay person is coming after you? They're not coming after you. They're just trying to live their lives. So they create these cultural um, uh, uh, points that rile up their base. And their base, of course, is going to go, well, I, of course, I, I, I love babies. And uh, and, and I want to have safety in America, so no immigrants, and then the gays are coming after me. Like, really? No. The people that are coming after you are the same people that are convincing you that someone's going to kill a baby after birth. That's just not a thing. It's not going to happen. The only people that are killing babies after birth are these people who are pro-gun. They're saying, go ahead. Take your guns. Go, go to these schools. Go to the Uvalde school. Shoot up a school. Why? Because you need an AR-15 to go hunting. If you're an idiot who doesn't know how to hunt without using an AR-15, then you should you, you don't deserve a gun. If you're a hunter, learn to hunt. Go hunt. Go hunt for your animals. But these people that are buying AR-15s and shooting people up, those are the ones going to schools killing children. Newtown. That was another person with a gun. That was so so these people that are saying that we want to protect children, they also are the same ones that don't want any kind of uh, common sense gun legislation. They're also the same people who, by the way, will not pass laws to help families with children who don't have money to help with the children. The, the, the Republicans just recently voted against a bill that was going to help with uh, school meals. They don't want to do that. They don't want to give free child care to moms and dads who can't afford it. They don't want to do that. So basically what they want is they want you to have your kid and then once the kid is here, they're going to stop taking care of that kid because over here, the kid is precious to them. Now the kid is here and is alive and has been born and they don't care about this kid. 
And so they don't want to give any kind of resources to the kid. They don't want to give health insurance to the kid. They don't want to give child care to the kid. And by the way, they want that kid to go to school and get shot up. That's what they want. So these same people who are saying that Democrats want to kill babies after they're born are actually the ones who are killing babies after they're born. So think about that for a second. Think about how crazy it is and what a lie it is and really think about who you're voting for. Are these people that you're voting for, are they doing anything for you? Look at this current Congress. It was a Republican-run Congress, and they did diddly, Bo diddly. The only thing that got really done was the infrastructure bill that was led by Joe Biden. That's the kind of thing that helps people. Also, lowering the cost of insulin. That was Joe Biden. Also, forgiving student loans. That was Joe Biden. So just think about what the Republicans are doing for you and then vote accordingly, all right? I'm comedian Miles Yobrani. I've got a special on YouTube. It's called The Birds and the Bees. Check it out. It's free. If you like it, tell your friends. If you don't like it, keep it to yourselves. Bye.